Okay, it's about dinner time, and of course, everything in the house is frozen. So I, don't, well, I wanted I wanted air fried pork chops, but like I said, everything in the house is frozen. But you got to remember, I've got a Ninja Fuji Deluxe here, so. I've got these two beautiful pork chops here that my brother sent me from Omaha Steaks. You know, of course, throws hard as a rock. <laughs> Bounce around like that. So anyway, we're going to fix them in this Ninja Fuji and we're going to have us some air fried pork chops. And I'm going to start timing it right now to see exactly how long it's going to take us from frozen to putting on your plate to be air fried pork chops. So, let me get started. Okay, if you've not tried this stuff yet, see if you can find you some just to give it a try. You might like it. This says better than bullion, and this is really good stuff. I'll tell you what, it's going to save you some money too, I, I guess. <laughs> but anyway, it says take a teaspoon. It's a little thick, dog. That's a little. That's a little heavy on the teaspoon, but it says eight ounces of water, which is, you know, a cup, but I've got a little bit about almost a cup and a half here and so I'm just going to mix it down and it says boiling water and I, don't, well, I don't think I got this quite boiling water but it's pretty hot so if I keep sloshing it out I won't have it I'll have to put some more in here but anyway I'm going to dissolve it up as good as I can but I'm going to put it over here in this Ninja Foodie Deluxe so it's not going to much matter whether it's completely dissolved or not because it's going to be dissolved in a minute. So now, I've got this rack here that comes with the Ninja Fuji Deluxe and we'll put it right down in here like that. Okay, then we'll put my, almost got a cup and a half here of liquid so I'll put in here. See, all that stuff didn't dissolve in that water, but it will be dissolved before it finishes cooking, I promise you. Okay, and next we're going to put in the pork chops. Let me get them. Okay, now I've got my can't, uh, better than boiling down there. Oh, by the way, I, for, I forgot to tell you, this is roasted chicken base. Uh, I can't believe it's uh, or better than boiling. I'll get it out right in a minute. I haven't been using it a long time, can you tell? <laughs> so, I've got that down there. I've got these two little pork chops down in there. Okay, now we're going to come over here and we're going to put the pressure lid on. You know, you line up your air, turn it clockwise so it stops. You come back here and make sure your valve is turned to seal and not vent. Make sure it's turned over here to seal. Okay, and now you turn on the power. Okay, you turn your little selector knob here over to pressure. Now it's on high, you want to leave it on high, but you don't want 10 minutes on it because we're not going to do nothing near 10 minutes with these. We're just going to come down here and give them three minutes is all we're going to do. Alright, now we're going to hit the button. Now I said three minutes, so you know it's just I'm really more or less just thawing these out real good and having them nice and juicy so I can put my ingredients on them so I can air fry them. So, now you can just leave these setting out for two or three hours or four hours or whatever how much it takes to thaw out your food and, and skip this part right here altogether. However, if you come home and you have something froze like that and you want to get it on the plate pretty soon, this is the way to do it. So, stand by. Oh, by the way, you know, the little light's going to run around until the button pops up and back. And I'll show you and tell you how long that took when it happens. Okay, now it's been about seven minutes since I hit the start button. And you can see this little silver button had not come up quite yet. But it's getting warm back there. Don't do this at home because you'll burn your hand if you do. So don't do that at home. So it's getting ready to pop up at any second. And there it comes, right on cue. <laughs> okay. Now, as you know, it's going to take a couple more minutes for these lights to start counting down here. And there it went. Just took about 30 to 45 seconds for those lights to, to quit running and the 
time started counting down. Now, in the meantime, while it's counting down those three minutes, we're going to come on over here and get our stuff ready for uh, to fix these pork chops so we can fry them, air fry them here. So we've got some flour here, and you know, I always like to sift my flour, you know. I don't have much. Not much here, but it's not going to take much of those two little chops. There you go with the sifting. Now I'm going to take the pepper. Put just a couple of turns in it. You know, you just do this by taste because a lot of people don't like the same amount of pepper and salt and all that stuff. So, just a couple of turns of salt there. Boy, the blood pressure machine looks here lately. You don't need to put any salt in it. Alright, now this is. Get a little heavier here now. This is Mrs. Dash salt free. This is the original blend, Mrs. Dash. So put some of that in. And I've got some of this uh, Italian complete seasoning here. I'm going to throw a little bit of that in there just for good measure. These are going to be some good pork chops now, I tell you. So now I'm going to stir it up. So we'll take a little fork here and stir this mixture up. There you go, about like that. Okay, those pork chops is finished right on time here. That's took three minutes for me to do this so far. Uh, no, I was that slow. So anyway, I'm going to put me some buttermilk over here in this bowl. I told you these are going to be good pork chops. Okay, now I am going to come back over here to the Ninja Foodie Deluxe. And you can see there it's been 40 some seconds since I since it comes to the end of that three minute cook now well i'm just gonna go ahead and give it a quick release back here and get them out of there and so you hit your valve up here turn, turn it to the right and it'll start letting off steam okay now it's been two minutes and 55 seconds since i hit that uh valve back there to release the pressure in it and it should be dropping any second and there it went I declare things cooperating today. I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, now, you, now that looks about like pressure cooked pork chops. <laughs> now, I'll show you in just a second here. Whatever even take them out of there. That really don't look all that appetizing, does it? <laughs> but, but, but wait a minute, they, it will. <laughs> I hope it will in a few minutes. Stand by. Let's see if we can get these out here. Put them in this plate. One of them. There's the other one. Now. Okay, now these cooled off a little bit, so I'm going to put them right down here in this buttermilk. Get my good coating. Now I'm going to put them over here in the flour. Get my real good coat in the flour. That's where all, my, that's where all the good taste is going to come from. on all the sides and ends all that good stuff now we'll put it back over here in this ninja Foodie deluxe on that same rack of course i wiped it off and i did empty the liquid out of the uh, bottom of the pot because when you get ready to air fry you don't want it to be uh 
you, when you get ready to air fry, you don't want any liquid down there because it's just going to make steam and it's going to take it longer and everything to uh, cook it. So, like I said, make sure you get all the ends and everything. And I'm sure when y'all do this, you'll have much bigger pork chops. Well, I'm not sure, but I would think you'd probably have bigger pork chops than all. But, really, the, the cook time and all is going to be about the same. Now, on the air frying here, it might take you a minute or two longer if it's real big. Uh, pork chops, you know, so but the uh, the pressure and all should be about the same amount of time Okay, and they, there they are down that uh, On that same rack again, so now let's move over here We'll wipe it off some of this flour that's on here, and then we'll shut the lid we'll Turn on the power this time we're going to go over here to air fry and we're going to leave it at 20 minutes but I'll be checking a whole lot quicker. I'm going to, matter of fact, I'm going to turn them over in a couple minutes anyway. And it's at 390 uh, degrees. So then we'll go hit the start button. Okay, and there to go. So now i got all this mess over here i got to clean up while these are counting down. So we'll be back in a couple minutes. And while you got a chance, you can join our channel and give us a thumbs up. Thumbs up. We sure would appreciate it. Thank you very much all you people watches our videos and thank you for ordering from our links down below. Check them out. So we'll be back. Okay, now I did spray them with uh, this cooking oil here. I'm using this palm olive oil spray. Because I just because I like olive oil. So, so you can use whatever you like. And so I turn and I went ahead and turned them over. I forgot to show this on camera for some reason or other. You know, it must have been a, a, a mental lapse there for a second. But anyway, I sprayed them with uh, that cooking spray there. And I turned them over. So, we'll be back in a minute and I'll show them to you. Okay, now these have been in there for 14 minutes. And I don't know, I might be getting ready to take these out. Now that one over there looks like he's really ready and this one right here looks like it might just need one or two more minutes. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and cook this other one. I'm going to let it cook a minute and 15 seconds now to give it exactly 15 minutes in the pot. So shut the lid and let her get started here. Okay now we're coming up on that 15 minute mark and I just wanted to remind you to make sure you wash them hands. Stay away from everybody and, you know, stay at home. Watch our videos. Watch all YouTube videos, but watch mine first. <laughs> Give me a thumbs up. <laughs> and so, I'll be so glad when this mess is over, I won't get back and start mingling with people, you know. You can't go anywhere. Can't even go to church on Sunday. So, we got one more second to go. I want to open it up. This is going to be about the end of this. I want to get them out on this plate here. A little bit better so you can see it. And whoa, I almost dropped him. I wouldn't want to do that. <laughs> That's a couple of good looking chops there now. Like I said, George is probably gonna be a turn the power off on my ninja food deluxe. And yours is probably gonna be a lot thicker than that. And usually I like it with the bone in. But, hey, my brother is nice enough to send these to me from Omaha Steak, so I'm going to be good enough to eat them. <laughs> well, I'll tell you one thing, they sure do smell good. I'm going to see how they are here. Alright, let's dig this knife out and see how it cuts here. That's that white part right there. That looks pretty good. So anyway, there you have it. That's about it for this little pork chop recipe here. 
And I hope you try it sometimes because it really is good. The outside is so crunchy and that's perfect, perfect blend for me for the uh, flour. Because that's really a good flavor on it. So anyway, that's about it for this little short video on those uh, little pork chops here. These are Omaha steak pork chops. And of course you got your seasoning in there. And don't forget the salt and pepper. And so until next time, y'all have a real good and safe day. And come back to see us when you can. And thanks again for watching our videos. We sure do appreciate it. Goodbye now.